In order to achieve a perfect capsular rexus, an extremely important prerequisite is fashioning the perfect cystitone. In this video, I'd like to demonstrate the technique of creating the perfect cystitome, which is likely to enable you achieve consistently perfect capsular rexus for your cataract surgical procedure. Let's begin. To start with, we need to understand what is the holder of the cystitome that we are going to use. Now, you could use a metallic holder, which is a small circular holder, as you can see here on the left, or it could be a tubercle and syringe, almost the same size as the metallic holder, or else it could be a conventional 2cc syringe. Now, at our center, we use a 2cc syringe, and that works very well for us. And each of us is extremely comfortable in getting the correct grip the correct hold and therefore able to create the correct movement to fashion the correct capsular rexes. Now you need to know which instrument held in your dominant hand gives you the correct movement of the holder to give you the perfect capsular rexes. Let's now move to understanding how to make the perfect cystitone. Even before I get to this, there's an important point I'd like to make. Very often it's our supporting staff or the staff nurse who's assisting us who creates the system and gives it to you. In my humble opinion, I don't think this is a good idea because this is done under direct visualization, no doubt, by the nurse, but without the adequate magnification that is required to understand the fineries of the correct sizing of the cystodome, the correct bend made at the correct angle and the quality of the tip which is not going to be visible by the staff nurse alone. And should you take it from her and actually start to create your capsulotomy, very often you'll just get by. But sometimes, if it is a faulty tip, you might actually have a problem during your capsulotomy. So I think it's important that we as surgeons fashion our own cystitomes, and that is something I do myself under direct visualization of the microscope, under high magnification, and having done so, I look very carefully at the quality of the tip. Let's now move to creating the perfect cystitome. A 26 number needle is taken and fitted to the shaft of the holder. It is uncapped and now we are ready to create the cystitome. Now, the bevel of the 26 number needle is actually two millimeters long. You need to be aware of this fact. The next thing we need to ensure is that the needle holder that is being used to create this bend at the tip of the 26 number needle is not faulty. It needs to have a perfect apposition on either side. Under direct visualization of the microscope, using high magnification, a good illumination, and a perfect focus of the tip of the 26 number needle, we now proceed. Next, we need to understand that the perfect system is one wherein the bend is no more than one third or one fourth of this bevel. The needle holder now is taken into a position so as to achieve the perfect bend. Having achieved the perfect position, the ends of the needle holder are now opposed over the tip of this 26 number needle and in one turn, maintaining the bevel outwards, is turned so as to fashion a tip which is at right angles to the shaft of the needle. Having created the cystodome tip, we now move to creating the proximal bend at the junction of the hub and the needle itself. It is turned in such a manner so as to create an angle of about 110 or 120 degrees. The cystitome thus created, as you can see in the video, is what I would consider a perfect cystitome, wherein one third of the bevel is bent to create the 90 degree bend, and the tip is absolutely sharp. In this part of the video, you'll see me fashioning a cystitome wherein the bend on the bevel is closer to 50% of the entire bevel. 
The result is a system wherein the length of the bent part of the bevel of the tip is much longer. I don't personally like such long tips because I tend to bury into the cortex while creating the capsular excess. Now in this part of the video, I'm going to demonstrate the creating of a cystitome wherein the bend of the bevel is really tiny, that is like one-fifth or one-sixth of the entire bevel. Now this tip becomes a tip that is far too small. With a tip this tiny, it is often difficult to engage the flap and to maintain that hold while proceeding with the capsular excess. Having understood the technique of making the perfect cystitome, now let's move to watching a perfect capsular excess. With this, I come to the end of the video tutorial on fashioning the perfect cystitome. It is a step that we cannot take very casually. Pay meticulous attention while making this cystitome because this goes a long way in helping you achieve a perfect capsular excess. We now come to the end of this video tutorial. Thank you.